Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this video we're going to be looking at the new feature that you can um, include in your object spawner JSONs and that is the ability to change the scale of items. So as you can see here we have a massive house and here we have a small house and then we have a big can of Pipsy and then a massive mushroom. However, one of the things you may want to consider is things that I think that are a little bit more imaginative than um, these these oddities and that is that it enables us to really start building interesting structures um, with these different sizes of stuff remember this is PC and console as well so for example here that's a normal size of boxes but here we've got bigger and smaller size boxes so it's the same object just with a different scale here we have rubber pile ru rubbish piles the bricks one there's the normal one there's a big one there's a smaller one here we have walls so this is the normal castle wall as it would spawn and here we have a smaller version of it so same wall just with a smaller scale and there we have uh, even smaller one um, and here's another one so this is a regular um, I think this is a bus terminal wall or something like that here we have a bigger one and here we have a massive one again all just controlled by scale so this is very powerful it really changes our toolbox of of what we can build with so how do we do it how do we do it well re what you want to do is the easiest ways if you're on um, PC is you want to get yourself a copy of the Daisy editor mod it's free I'll put a link in the description below the video and uh, all you need to do now um, and I'm kind of assuming you're familiar with the Daisy editor mod is that when you when you place something down and this tends to be structures it's not every single object that you can do this so if we I don't know search for barracks say so um, land military barracks barracks one so if we put that down <coughs> and then we double click in it you see you've got the scale option here and now we can actually change that so we can say 0.5 and that is now um, half scale um, and you could go bigger and you could go smaller um, and things like the doors still work <coughs> all the working bits still work as long as you can re uh, reach them a bit high that isn't it obviously with really big structures you might find the hitbox for the door you won't be able to reach as a small character and then all that happens is you just go file export Oops, let's do it again file <laughs> export export to object spawner .json, and what happens now is if we just jump out of here and we look at uh, an example what you find now is within the name of the thing so sorry can pips you can see the scale option now appears and it works um, and then when you include this in your that file in your uh, server normally in the object spawner array uh, section of the CFG gameplay.json um, the server will read that and it will then display the things at the appropriate scales. It really is that easy. It's just going into the editor and just double clicking on things. Here we go. Let's do this and then changing the scale to 100 is probably a bit big. 20 still a bit big. <laughs> 10. There we go. There's 10. So that's like a mountain of rubble now, isn't it? Look how huge that is and then uh, exporting it as you would normally do. Very, very simple. But the interesting thing is to say it isn't really making the obvious things bigger and smaller. It's taking the everyday items that we have been using to build custom structures and using them in a different way because you can make them bigger and smaller. And the ultimate challenge is that the changes that you make on your server and the buildings and the structures and the things you make using the items do they seamlessly um, become part of Chernerus or Livonia whichever I might, might be working on or do they stick out like a sore thumb obviously if you're making a forest of giant mushrooms you're going to make them stick out like a sore, a sore thumb but if you're making a new say I don't know pyramid out of um, castle walls or some other wall by making it smaller and bigger then um, that can sort of um, blend in so that players would th would have to think twice be th before thinking is this a really part of the base game or is it something's been added added in afterwards anyway there we go that's how easy it is to do um, there'll be a link in the description below the video to the daisy editor mod from the amazing inclement dab what would we do if we didn't have him and we didn't have his amazing mod 
Um, I don't really know. Um, but that's enough from me. If you've got any questions, put them down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.